Okay, here's just a um, quick tutorial on the first part of the section of 5.2 in our, in our textbook. Um, section 5.2 can be divided into two parts. Um, uh, one part teaches you how to expand binomials using combinations. So I'll do that in the second part of the lesson. The first part of the lesson, what I want to focus on, is determining the number of roots through a map grid using combinations. So this is what this lesson is going to focus on. If you want to learn about expanding binomials using combinations, look for part two of the video. So let's get started. Paths through a map grid. So here's a map grid here. So city streets make up a grid, as shown to the right here. Um, traveling only east to north, how many possible routes lead from start to finish? So we're going to try and get from start to finish, and we're only going to move north and east, because we're going to assume you're not going to move backwards at any point. We just want to figure out how many different routes lead from the start to the finish. Well, let's look at one possible route from start to finish, just so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about. So to get from start to finish, moving only north and east, one possible route could be go north, then at the next at that intersection go east, then north, then east, then east, then north, then north, then east, then north, then east, then east. Oops. It made the line go straight automatically there. Let me try and redo this. So north, east, north, east, north, east, east, north, east, north, east. I don't want it to do that. Maybe if I lift up every time. There we go. Okay, so there's one possible route from start to finish. So north, east, east, north, east, north, east, north, east, north, east. Let me write that route out, the route we chose. Um, we went north, east, east, north, east, north, east, north, east, north, east. Okay, that's one possible route. Now, just to give you an idea of how many possible routes there could be, there's lots of other ways we could get from start to finish. Um, I could have gone east, 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 north, 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 east, east. There's another possible route. Um, and there are, in fact, a, there are a very high number of routes we, that we could take to get from start to finish. And I'm going to show you how to calculate the exact number of routes there could be to get from the beginning to the end of this map grid. So, first of all, let's analyze what we did. Let's analyze this route that we chose. Um, for this route, there were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 moves we had to make. Um, of those 11 moves, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 were north, and that must mean 6 of them were east. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 were east. And no matter which route we chose, of all the different routes we take, they're all going to be made up of those same components. They'll just be in different orders. So no matter which route I take, to get from start to finish, eventually I'm going to have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 east, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 north. And there's always going to be 11 moves that you're going to make. There's just different orders we can make those moves in. So let's learn how to count the number of possible um, ways we get from start to finish. Two ways to think of it. Okay, up here is just a quick summary of what I just talked about. So to get from start to finish, you have to move 6 east, 5 north. Okay, so there's 11 total moves you have to make. Of those 11, 6 are east, 5 are north. So how, let's figure out how many ways, um, how many different routes there are. Two ways to think of it, either as a combination or as a permutation. So let me explain to you how we can think of this problem as a combinations problem. So what we could do, we could determine the number of ways east can be inserted into six positions selected from 11 available positions. So let's just take a look here to try and explain that a little further. Um, just look at this top here as a combination. Okay, So there's 11 moves required. I have to make, so there's 11 moves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 moves. I, if I think of this as a combinations problem, I can think, how many ways can I choose 6 of these 11 spots um, to be east? Because I know in the end, of the 11 moves, 6 are going to be east. So how many ways can I choose 6 of these 11 to be east? I could choose the 1st, 2nd, 4th, 5th, 7th, and 8th to be east. And then the rest would just be north. Um, and that We don't have to worry about that because all the available ones would just be filled in north. The important thing is how many ways could I choose 6 of the 11 to be east? So 
Um, why is this a combinations problem? Well, we have 11 objects and I want to choose a group of six of them to the east. And notice the order that I choose that group in doesn't matter. I could have chosen them instead of 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8. I could have chosen 8, 7, 5, 4, 1, 2. So I chose that group in a different order, but it ends up being the same group. The same six spots are still east, so this, that's why this is a combinations problem. So how many ways could I choose six of the 11 spots to be east? Well, that's a combinations problem. We would just do 6 choose 11. And let me remind you how to find that on your calculator. If you want to do 6, or sorry, 11 choose 6, not 6 choose 11, sorry. We have 11 objects. I want to figure out how many different ways could I choose a group of 6 from that 11. So you'll hit math, probability, NCR, 6. So this means how many different groups of 6 could I make from 11? And that answer will give us 462. And here we go here, 11 choose 6 is 462. Now you might be saying, well, how come you wanted to figure out um, how many of the spots could be east and you didn't do how many spots could be north? Well, you could do that as well. Instead of figuring out how many ways could we choose 6 of the 11 to the east, we could do how many ways could we choose 5 of the 11 to be north. And if you do 11 choose 5, you end up with the exact same answer as 11 choose 6. You get 462. Okay, so that's one way to figure out number of roots through a map grid. You could think of it as a combinations problem and figure out like how many groups of 6 of the 11 could be north or how many groups of 5 of the 11 could be east. Either way, same answer. The other way you could think about it is as a permutation. So think of it as a word. A word that is spelled with 5 n's and 6 e's. And hopefully you remember from last chapter we learned about how to figure out the number of arrangements of the letters in a word where some of the letters um, are the same. So I have 11 objects. How many ways could you order 11 objects? N factorial ways, so 11 factorial. But keep in mind, for each arrangement of the letters, for this arrangement, um, how, many, how many ways could I rearrange the letters without changing the overall word? So I have to divide by how many ways could I rearrange those five Ns, five factorial ways, and how many ways could I rearrange those six Es? Um, and that would be six factorial ways. So for each arrangement, there are a number of ways we rearrange the letters without changing the um, what the word looks like, so we have to divide by that. So to figure out the number of arrangements of those letters, I have to do 11 factorial divided by 5 factorial times 6 factorial. And once again, you would get 462. So two ways to think of it. As a permutation, like as a word, and figure out the arrangements of the letters in the word. Don't forget to divide by the number of arrangements um, of the letters that are the same, or think of it as a combination. Um, for this next, next example, I'm going to think of it as a combination because that's what I find easier to do. So here's the new map grid. Um, traveling east and north only, how many possible routes lead from A or B to the finish? So hopefully you remember from last chapter as well when you see the word or the operation you should be thinking of is plus. So we need to figure out the number of routes that lead from A. Um, we also need to figure out the number of routes that lead from B to the finish and then add them together. So let's do from A first. So how many routes lead from A to the finish? Well, if we think about it, from A to the finish, we're going to have to go north, one, two, three, four, five, and east, one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna have to make 10 moves Five of them are going to be north, five of them are going to be east. So if I want to figure out how many routes lead from A to the finish, I want to think, how many ways could I choose five of the ten routes, um, five of the ten moves, to be north? Or how many ways could I choose five of the ten to be east? Same answer. So all I have to do is ten choose five. And we can type that in our calculator. Ten choose five. We get 252. So there's 252 routes that lead from A to the finish. Keep in mind the question says from A or B, so now we need to figure out the number of routes from B to the finish. So from B to the finish, we are going to have to move north 2 and east 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So north 2, east 6. So we're going to have to travel 2 north and 6 east. So there's 8 moves in total. So how many ways could I choose um, 2 of those 8 to be north or 
six of those eight to be east. And those will give you the same answer, eight choose two or eight choose six. And I'll just prove that to you here. Eight choose two is 28. Eight choose six is also 28. So there are 28 different routes you could take that went from B to the finish. So how many routes go from A or B to the finish? That equals the number of routes from A plus the number of routes from B. So we had 252 plus 28. So that gives us 280 routes that lead from A or B to the finish. Let's do one more quick problem. So if you're following on following along in the uh, with the lesson for this section, it skips ahead to example five. So here's a new question. Um, here's a new math grid starting at zero, zero and moving only north and east. How many routes pass through two, two? And remember when you think of the word and, the operation you want to think of is multiplication. So routes pass through two, two and end at seven, seven. So what we need to do to figure out this question, we need to figure out how many routes go from zero, zero to two, two. So from 0, 0 to 2, 2, and then multiply that by how many possible routes go then from 2, 2 to 7, 7. Okay. So I think under here just summarizes what we're going to have to do. Number of routes from 0, 0 to 2, 2 times number of routes from 2, 2 to 7, 7. That will tell us the number of routes that go from 0, 0 to 7, 7 while passing through point 2, 2. So the routes that lead from 0, 0 to 2, 2 to start with. Um, I'm going to have to go 2 north, 2 east, so 4 moves in total. 2 of them have to be north, 2 of them have to be east, so to figure out how many ways that could happen, how many different ways could I choose um, 2 of the moves of the 2 of the 4 moves to be east or 2 of the 4 moves to be north, just do 4 choose 2. And if we do 4 choose 2, we get 6. So there's six moves, six, six different routes you could take to get from 0, 0 to 2, 2. Now let's also figure, okay, now that you're at 2, 2, how many routes lead to 7, 7? So from 2, 2 to 7, 7, you're going to have to go north, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and east, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you're going to have to make 10 moves, 5 or east, 5 or north. So how many ways could we choose um, 5 of those 10 moves to be north? Do 10, choose 5. And I believe we already did 10, choose 5 in an earlier question. 10 choose 5 is 252. So 252 different routes from 22 to 77. So the total number of routes that pass through 22 and, so multiply, end at 77 is 6 times 252. 6 times 252. We get 1,512 total routes to go from 0, 0 to 7, 7 while passing through 2, 2. So sorry, that was 1,512. Okay, last question. Um, I believe we already have all the information we were going to need to answer this question. Actually, maybe there's one more thing we'll have to figure out. But So what this question says, starting at 0, 0 and moving only north and east, how many routes avoid point two two and end at seven seven. So the previous question asked was how many routes pass through two two when going from zero zero to seven seven. This one says how many routes do not pass through two two. So what we're going to have to do is figure out okay well how many routes go from zero zero to seven seven and then subtract the ones that go through two two and then that'll tell us how many routes avoid two two. So first thing we're gonna have to do is we haven't figured out the total number of routes yet. So total number of routes from 0, 0 to 7, 7. Um, to get from 0, 0 to 7, 7, how many routes can we take? Well, we're going to have to go north, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and east, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's 14 moves we're going to have to make. Of those 14, 7 are going to be north, 7 are going to be east. So how many ways could I choose 7 to be north or 7 to be east? Um, just do 14, choose 7. And then I'm going to subtract the number of routes that pass through 2, 2, and the result will be the number of routes that do not pass through 2, 2, going from 0, 0 to 7, 7. So we figured out there are 1,512 routes that do pass through 2, 2. 
So 14 to 7. Gives us 3,432. And then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to subtract our 1,512. So we're going to subtract the 1,512 and we get 1,920 roots. Going from 0, 0 to 7, 7 that avoid 2, 2. Okay, so that's it for this section. Um, if you want to learn how to expand a binomial using combinations, make sure um, you look for part two of this video. And make sure you get the worksheet from jensenmath.ca and uh, try out the practice problems.